Lottie. And oh. seems like a lot of people down here, most people, but I, everybody that I talked to, and asked them for a certain crystal I was looking for, what this crystal means. They have no idea. They're just like, oh, I have the book, and you can read and see. It tells you what it means. And I'm just like, uh, how do you sell all these things and work at a shop and you don't even know nothing about what the heck? No, you don't even know nothing about what you're selling. Come on. Like, what the heck is going on, bruh? How do you not know? about the crystals you sell. Mama, mama. I'm leaving. But they did have a lot of crystals and stuff for hella cheap that you cannot get for this price in regular shops. <laughs> huh. I got a money tree. So it came from Peru. Come on, Lodi. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. And you know how there's never parking over here? <laughs> I parked at the Union Station. Hey, slow your roll. Come over here. I parked at the Union Station. I paid, of course. Why do I think I'm about to pay? <laughs> when I leave. I think I'm about to pay like $13, something like that. I don't remember. Okay, so it is now November 2nd, okay? And um, actually, I spent my Halloween, my Samhain, my All Hallows Eve, whatever you want to call it. Um, I spent it right here, <laughs> doing a spell, okay? I did um, a road opener spell with this candle, okay? And um, it's basically, um, it will open the doors to all possibilities and bring new opportunities your way. Uh, magic and miracles, manifestation, abundance, healing, playfulness, mercy, fruitfulness, happiness, faith, good fortune, spontaneity, success, harvest, creativity. Um, yeah, a rainbow candle. That's what the rainbow candles are for. They are road openers, okay? And, um, yeah. So, also, um, you know, I lit my candles for, um, my yellow candle for Oshun and my red candle for Lakshmi, which is already burning down. And then um, I got my picture of um, my Uncle Mark on my altar. Um, I usually keep him in my car with me um, to protect me. Um, he is my guardian angel. Um, yeah, but from October 31st, till November 2nd is when the veil is the most thinnest between 
our world and the spirit world. So, yes, I have them here with me in my house to protect me. I only want good spirits. I have my window open all day and night throughout these um, three days. Um, so, not just good spirits will come in my house, you know. And, um, yeah, my Uncle Mark, I feel a strong connection to him, you know. Um, my my last year the last year he was alive i was living with my grandma and i got to spend a lot of time with him you know and i think it was meant for me to live with her that last year um but yeah when he died that night i was the last person he spoke to or saw from all the family so i just feel a real strong connection to him like that morning when they came to the door and i answered it and when they told us what happened I was there with my grandma when all hell broke loose. I don't want to talk about that right now. But, um, yeah. So, uh, I love him. I actually got these beautiful flowers for him. These flowers are so beautiful. I love them. Yes, these are for you, Uncle Mark. I love you. And I've been honoring you, you know, this day of the dead, you know. And that's what the day of the dead is, to honor, you know, the dead. To honor and connect or with our loved ones who have passed, you know? And here's my money tree that I got from Alvera Street uh, from Peru. <laughs> I absolutely love it. It's so cute. I love it. Okay. And um, yeah, so um, my earrings, I keep, when I'm not wearing my earrings, I keep them on my altar so they stay charged. Okay. And then this is my money drawing oil that, um, I actually put in my candle when I did my spell, okay? Um, yeah, and then I also did some divination. I did some divination. I pulled um, a tarot card, and I ended up getting the Knight of Wands. And um, yeah, when I, for, when I pull a, a card, I use my intuition to look at it and read it with just my intuition and see what it means for me. That's, um, you know, what I like to do. But when I just pull one card, I also like to, you know, read what it says in the book. Is this the next world tarot book? Um, yeah, so the Knight of Wands, um, it basically says, found in deserts and alleyways, homes for lost souls, or the X on maps of sacred geometry. This knight is cultivating the strength it takes to speak the truth and fight for justice through creative expression. They ask you to look before you leap into your subconscious, dif differentiate between the truth and unwanted com compromise between the guides and the demons. The Knight of Wands makes a living painting wild landscapes and combine wild concepts that rally individuals to smile worry or change their mind they ask you to dig deep into your hidden talents and uncover goals allow them to flourish and pay no mind to the gaze of doubt the night urges a revolution through new materials from self-made resources crazy it's just um this has been the most cr um, intense the most intense style one that I have ever had. And I'm actually gonna spend the rest of this day going to pop up on my other grandma. It's her birthday today. I think that's so dope how her birthday is on the day of the dead. Like, and her, my grandpa, which is her husband, had passed away. Like, she has the most power to communicate with him and the divine being her birthday on the on the day of the dead i mean i feel <laughs> that's pretty cool so yeah that's pretty cool so you guys aren't gonna see that part of the vlog because i'm actually ending the vlog now because i want to get the video out today <laughs> for you guys okay so if you guys like this vlog don't forget to hit the like button it means the world to me Thank you. Hi, Rhea. You're a wizard. Yeah. What are the four elements? Uh, fire and a wall.